Hey, speak to me kindly. I'm the type of girl you call wifey. Yeah, I ain't no side piece. I'm the one you take it home to mom's. Come on, uh, speak to me. Hey guys, it's Henning here, and today I wanted to do a quick vanity tour kind of video. My vanity setup is complete. I will say that I haven't completely finished filling my vanity up because I still have a bunch of makeup in my closet. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys my vanity anyways because I know a lot of you on my Instagram after seeing my vanity, I posted a picture of it on Instagram. You guys wanted me to show you like a tour, kind of like an info about the vanity and how I came up with the setup and whatnot. So let's just get straight into that because I know you don't want to listen to me ramble. But before we do get into this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I post new videos here every week and I'll be giving one lucky subscriber a free iPad once I hit 10,000 subscribers. So you don't want to miss out on that. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. So this is what my vanity setup looks like right now. I have it in the corner of my room, as you can see right there. That is a window but most of the time I always kept it closed anyway so I was like why not just put it right there this before I show you that this really pretty May dream catcher I got from Marshall's for $16 love me some Marshall's TJ Maxx and Ross so I just want to show you that I'm, I'm thinking of adding like string lights on this side or something entwined with the dream catcher but that's gonna happen later on so the chair right there it is I think I got it from Ross if I'm not mistaken so this chair was originally $50 however it does have I think like a stain right here um, so I let them know that and then they would took the price down I think like five or six dollars so it is a really a nice chair and it does raise up and I wanted to make sure that my vanity size wasn't too large over you know because this is the section I wanted to put it in and it's perfect because it fits right in so that worked out perfectly. So this vanity style is pretty popular because the actual tabletop and the two drawers are from Ikea. I mean, if you didn't know that, well, that's what it is. But I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can tell it's from Ikea. So this is the Alex drawer. I have two of them. I already had one and I went ahead and bought another one. They are $89 each, so they end up coming out to like $92 with tax. And then the tabletop, I don't remember the exact measurement for this one because I know there's, I think, four different kinds you can pick from at Ikea. This is like the second, there's a smaller one and there's one a little bit bigger. This is $22.99 a tabletop. And I know you can drill it in onto the actual drawers, but I was just like, just in case I end up moving to another place, I feel like if I don't drill it, it might be easier to move it, just like taking the tabletop. So I did not drill the top to the actual drawers is just placed there. Of course, I know you guys are like, all right, Hannah, thanks for letting us know about the setup. But the main, I guess one of the biggest part about this vanity that I love so much is the actual vanity mirror. This is from Impressions Vanity. I am honestly so obsessed with their products and I've been wanting to purchase one. I know I already have this touch. What is this, like a touch? I don't remember the name of that, but I know I have this one already and I've had it for a while now. Is it turned on? I know I got this from them, but I really wanted to buy a vanity, an actual vanity from them. So this does have, you can turn it on. I already have it plugged in. Let me go ahead and show you guys that. I already have it plugged in on this side. And then this vanity, I don't remember the name. I think it's like Hollywood something, Hollywood Touch or something. Um, of, co of course, I'll make sure to go ahead and put in the description below what it is. But it does have two outlets so you can charge your phone or whatnot. Um, and then you have it, it's already connected so you just push the button that turns it on and it is dimmable as you can see right here so you can go however you want to dim it so yeah this is the highest light you can put it on actually let me kind of dim it a little bit so you can see it better on camera so yeah that's how it looks on this is not the highest it's a little dim but I guess so you guys can kind of see the lighting it's really pretty this is on the highest level on the vanity and then I can go ahead and dim it for you guys so Really, really pretty. I love how it looks. I already had this crystal little drawer set thing before, so I kind of already just kept that. Um, like I said, I do have a lot more makeup that is in my closet. I'm just going to show you what I already kind of have and how I'm trying to organize it. But for actual, like, all my makeup, 
we're not there yet. <laughs> so yeah, I just have my two favorite perfumes right here and I got this from Marshalls as well. I think this was $4.99, thought it was super cute. This little set right here is also from Marshalls. I made sure to include it in one of my videos. So this middle one actually says lips, but I don't really have enough lip brushes. So I want it to be kind of beauty and like keep the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes in these two and then the, the gold collection from them in the center. And then I have my extra brushes in the back. So that's what I'm doing with my brushes right now. So I'm still organizing. I think I only have these two drawers filled on both sides. So that's all I'm gonna show you. But on this side, I have foundations. Um, I need to add more lashes. This is just like foundation eye stuff. That makes sense as you can see and then I have some lip product but I don't know I don't really know how I want to organize it but these can these little storage containers right here I got these from dollar store for a dollar each super convenient and then on this side I have bronzer highlighter setting powder and I have this one primer right here and yeah and then below that I have Morphe palettes. I really don't know how I want to organize the Morphe palettes just because they're so obnoxiously big. So I don't know how to put them in. And these are just the new palettes that I really haven't used yet here. And then the Jaclyn Hill Vault collection. This one. These are some more palettes that I do have. But again, these are just... I don't know. I feel bad showing this because it's like I have nothing really done yet. And then I just have this in here and these in here. So as you can see, I have a lot more to do. But all right guys, that is it for this video. Let me know if you want me to post like an IG post or like go live or do another video here showing you guys my complete makeup collection when it is complete. But that is it for this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I post new videos here every week. And I'll also be giving one lucky subscriber a free iPad once I hit 10,000 subscribers. So you don't want to miss out on that. But other than that guys, I'm going to get going because it's time. Alright guys. Bye.